Greetings everyone, I have designed some of the 37mm projectiles and their corresponding base plate as gas seal to propel them. Um, after I designed these projectiles, of course, and I discovered that many 3D printed projectiles are already available on Thingiverse and eBay. There are four variations of the projectiles themselves and two variations of the base plates that I have designed. First, the 50 mm come on focus. 50 mm long short projectile um, with holes on them, vent holes for smokes. And the corresponding projectile without holes for flares. These 50 mm long projectiles can fit the uh, three inch shells by exotic firearms like so in addition i have these 90 meter long 90 meter long projectiles both vented and not designed to fit the uh, 4.5 inches long exotic firearms shells Compared to the existing designs of 3D printed projectiles available on Thingiverse and eBay, I believe my design has some advantages. First, higher payload capacity than the uh, fin stabilized projectiles. As you can see here, I will unscrew the end cap. Oh, you can see it. Here, it's some light. See? It has a much higher internal volume to contain more um, smoking, smoking agent or um, agent for, for flare use. And second, better gas seal than fin stabilized projectiles. Many fin stabilized projectiles use a thin blast disc to push on the projectile. I will include an image that I found on eBay to show you uh, exactly what I mean. And my design has a fairly thick, uh, tight fitting with fairly thick, tight fitting gas ring. Now uh, a base plate get, uh, with a gas ring to further improve seating, as you can see here. It fits the projectile. Oh. Here goes my script. Fits the shell very tightly, and come with a gas ring to improve the seal. Also, my projectile themselves has screw down bottom and it is better than fiction fitted ones as seen on some designs on Thingiverse which again, I will include some uh, pictures to show you. And th this will not come loose especially after applying a proxy to the threads if you want to be extra sure is threaded on. Some of the designs on Thingiverse is a uh, fictional fitting, they just fit together. Four, boat tail design is better for aerodynamic in theory. As you can see here, the boat tail, uh, which as I have said, is better for aerodynamic in theory. I have not tested them out uh, myself yet and I have these pre-modeled rifling on this projectile themselves so um, they will stabilize themselves in theory too which uh, we'll see you can print them out yourselves and test to see if they are actually really effective I also designed a different screw-on plate. First is this ones with two cutouts that you can loosen or tighten with a spanner wrench or adjustable wrench depending on your fancy. And second is the one designed to be hand tightening only. This one doesn't have a uh, the cutout for, for the spanner wrench. 
which I think, in theory, is better for aerodynamic. And uh, because I'm not sure how these cutouts will affect the aerodynamic in flight. Um, so I designed both. You can try them out yourself and see. In addition, these two types of uh, base plate are designed for different shells. I personally have these old versions, old shells from exotic firearms, which do not, which do not feature. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe this angle. Yeah, do not feature built-in powder bushing. So I have to model a powder bushing, which you can see here, right into the base plate to contain the uh, lifter charge. If you have the newer, oh damn it, newer shells, uh, has the built-in powder bushing, you can use this flat-ended base plate, which I also have a library that you can download. I designed this shells and uh, this projectiles and back plates to be very tight fitting so you will not need a rubber band that's gas seal and they will not come out um, come loose during transportation and I will demonstrate here and I will attempt to fit one in the shell some effort okay but it will fit. yep like this for some reason you want to take it out without firing it you can use also use a uh, um, barbecue bamboo stick to punch it out very easy like this Although initially I planned to sell these projectiles, but after I checked out some of the prices from online vendors and eBay, plus I did some calculation, cost calculation myself, and I found out accounting for the material cost and machine time along with my own profit is not to, going to be very com competitive for me to sell this uh, product as finished ones, mm, they will be pretty much the price will be pretty much the same, three to five dollars each, and uh, you'd better print them out yourselves. As for print them out yourselves, I have tried both printing them upside up, which is print them like this, and print them upside down, which is like this. And I found out the su support will mess up the uh, front end of the projectile a little bit. You can see uh, in cam on, on camera here, which I'm not sure will it negatively impact the aerodynamic of this projectile. This way, if I print it upside up, the top will come out perfect, but this way you will consume a little, little more of support material. Um, well, I think that's all for today. Thank you for viewing my videos. Farewell.